Soils are amazing. They are the foundation for the food we eat, the homes we live in, and the paths we walk. And every soil is unique. The type of soil and how well it has been cared for determine whether it stays in place or blows in your face. Whether it soaks in or floods out. You can use Land PKS to learn about any soil in the world. A cropped soil in California. Or a soil growing pecans in New Mexico. A small patch of grass in a lawn. Or even a vacant lot. After downloading the app and logging in with a Gmail account, start by using this app to learn what the most likely soil is anywhere in the world by tapping on the globe at the bottom. And going anywhere in the world to see what your soils are. To learn about your soil, you can tap on these names and it describes the soils that occur where your location is. These are ranked in the order of the most likely soil first and then down to the least likely. You can also go back and create a plot at your own location to learn about your own soil simply by clicking on the plus at the top of the screen and giving it a name. And pressing save. It's now predicting the soils where I am today near Denver, Colorado. And when I click on soil ID, it lists my two soils that occur in this area. One, a Netherland, is a relatively sandy soil, as indicated by the stipples. The other, a Valmont, has a lot more clay, as indicated by the dark colors. If I'd like to learn which soil is my soil, I can go to Data Input and start to provide a little bit of information. For example, I can click on Slope and select one of these pictures to show how steeply sloping the land is. Different soils occur on different slopes of land. I can also use the slope meter here, which uses the clinometer inside the camera and the phone. I can then go to soil texture and learn what the texture is of my soil by pressing guide me. It asks a series of questions and each question has a question mark that illustrates how to answer that question. In this case, I'm going to wet the soil to make it just barely moist and then see if it forms a ball. I then check to see if I can form a ribbon. This is an indicator of how much clay is in the soil. And then I check the length of the ribbon. Not the whole ribbon, just the main part of it, little tips we ignore. And finally, how does it feel? Put a bit of soil in your hand and touch it, rub it around and see if it's gritty or smooth or not gritty or smooth, meaning probably a little bit sticky. My soil, a soil scientist would call a sandy loam. We're gonna use this texture and go on to the next depth. But before we do that, we need to tell the app how much rock is in the soil what proportion of the soil is rock. You can see here on the left side that I have depths. You can enter the textures for as many depths as you have time for. And here, they're in inches. Sometimes the app will show up in centimeters. You can go to the application settings and change it between English and metric. You can also change the language to Spanish or another language if you'd like. After I have entered my data, I can go back to my report 
And when I press synchronize now, it's going to predict my soils based on the information that I provided. Because this is a relatively sandy soil, it's predicting that my soil is a Netherland. Of course, the more information that I provide for it, the more uh, better the prediction is going to be. You can download the Land PKS app from the Apple App Store or from the Google Play Store. You can explore other functions like determining soil color or using soil health input section to record the condition of your soil. If you want to learn more or have questions, you can always tap on the question marks that are included in almost all of the screens. Thank you.